Hey everyone, Jacqueline here, and today I'm going to be walking you through my C-sharp assignment that had to do with adding sound to the application. So, as you can hear, I decided to um, add in a background music. I also wanted to add in some clicking effects, but um, the audio I chose said it wasn't a WAV file, and though it was, so I, I need to go back and add that after I figure out what's going on. Um, so everything is still the same, the only difference is that there's audio in the background, so I can um, pick up sword, I can equip the sword, I can pick up the shield, I can equip the shield, I can also drop the shield, as well as the sword. Um, so I can also still pick up the penny and pen, I can try to equip them, but they can't be equipped, I can drop them. We can still look at them, everything is still in here. Uh, the main thing is that we've added audio, and um, I think last time I added the background, but um, I think that's everything. So I'm going to kind of go, go through and show you how I achieved adding the background. Um, so the first thing that you'll want to do is uh, go to your uh, solution folder, um, go to your inventory, find your properties. It has a little... Um, wrench next to it and then click on it like drop down you'll find your resources folder you'll press um, enter and it'll open it up I actually think I have mine open over here um, then there's like a little uh, the first little button here you'll want to select audio make sure that you have that selected and then next to that there's add resource and you'll add your resource you'll choose your WAV file um, once you have that in you'll click on it go to properties and you'll change the persistence from um, linked at compile time to embedded in the .resx. Um, and this will make it so that your audio isn't dependent on like which computer it's on. Um, because if you just like link it through a um, path, then um, if you send this to anybody to like try out or um, anything like that, they're actually not going to have the audio file. So if you do it this way, the audio file will be included, so they will still be able to hear the audio that you sent with it. Okay, um, so once you have that all taken care of, you click save, and then you can close the resources folder. Um, okay, and then the, the second thing that I did to make this work is I created a um, form load. So if you just double click your form, this is what will pop up. Um, and I added the audio. So uh, here you just um, you do sound player and then I called mine audio equals a new sound player and then you put your path to your audio and then you sell underneath it. You'll just say audio.play. In my case I did play looping just because I don't know how long the user is going to be in there and uh, since it's a background music I wanted it to continuously play. Uh, but if this were for like sound effects for clicking um, which I have down here. Um, where are my clicking buttons? So here I commented out because right now it doesn't work. Um, but here I have, um, it just says play because I just want to play the once and then um, not play again until I click the button again. So, and then, um, so you'll see here, I just have that same thing. Sound player audio equals, you know, the click. Um, and then it says uh, audio.play, but this isn't currently working. It says that it can only play WAV files. This is a WAV file, so I gotta figure out if it just can't do more than one sound, which I doubt, or if it's just something wrong with that audio, and I'll have to grab another one later. Okay, so that is pretty much it. The sound was extremely easy, um, and uh, if you like this video, then click that like button and also subscribe. And then if you have any questions or comments, you can add them below and I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. Um, otherwise, you can check out my GitHub to see exactly how I implemented this. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.